Hello everybody, Andrea Maeski here with Dental World Tutoring. My office is being painted right now, so I'm doing some videos in my living room, so I hope you guys can see me and hear me okay. But next week, hopefully you guys will see my nice new office, or I should say a wall of my office, because when I do the videos, you can't exactly see the whole thing. But I'm super excited. My blue walls will be gone, which I love blue. That's actually my favorite color. But for a wall, no, I guess it's just not. Yeah, no, at least not light blue, because I shouldn't say that. We have a dark blue in our hallway, which I love, 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 but not the kind of like light blue that I had in my office. Anyways, you guys don't want to hear about paint. Um, what I wanted to talk to you guys today about is ethics and law. So I just did a session for my um, Dental L member students. It was about an hour um, just talking about privacy um, and, and consent. So those are the main ones. And I'm not going to talk about the whole session, but I will talk to you guys about the key points. So that way, if you guys would like to learn more, let me know because we weren't able to finish the whole thing. We'll be doing another session in two weeks. So if you would like to attend live, it's an excellent idea. If you are a member of um, a Dental L, you have full access to everything, live tutoring, modules, mock exams, everything. So let me know. Um, but yeah, so just some of the key points were, so in Ontario, there's no age of consent, meaning a six-year-old can say no to x-rays. They have that right. Um, so that was a big one that we talked about. Another thing was, um, my goodness, what well, I had it on the tip of my tongue. Oh yes, the different forms of consent. So there is verbal, there is formal and there is implied. So verbal is when you're just simply talking about something. So if I say to a patient, I'll be doing a cleaning today and taking some, some um, checkup x-rays and they say, yes, okay, that is verbal consent. Formal consent takes it a step further and that's preferred um, because that is when they actually sign something. So if they sign that paper where on the paper it says all about the pros and cons of x-rays, why we're taking them, and they sign, yes, I do agree to have x-rays taken. That is formal consent. Implied consent is when they simply sit in the chair and that's implied that they are consenting to treatment because they confirmed their appointment, they came to the dental office, done, right? They have implied consent. Um, but this is where you have to be careful because the um, formal consent, the, um, the written, is preferred because anybody can say that they said something in verbal consent, but you know, it's their word or your word against theirs, right? So the formal, the written is always preferred. Um, what else did I want to share with you guys that was confusing? Um, so remember how I said that there's no age of consent in Ontario? That's very, very true. But that's where there's always a fine line because a 13-year-old, you would think, the parents know best, they know more, which is true. But if they say no to x-rays, we have got to listen to that 13 year old. I know, it's pretty crazy, right? In the real world, things are a little bit different. If I had a 13 year old say to me, I don't want x-rays, I'd talk to them and say, well, your parents said yes for x-rays. You had six cavities the last time, we really should take the x-rays. But would I force her or him to take the x-rays? No, but you know, things are just different sometimes in the real world. But for the board exam, they have that right. But I'm going to ask you guys a question. So I did talk about consent. So my question is, let's say you have known a patient for 30 years, their last x-ray was taken two years ago. Um, but now they have said they don't want any more x-rays, no way, not happening. And then you, you have them sign a paper saying that they say no to x-rays. Signed, done, and then a couple years later, they sue you because they now have advanced bone loss. I mean, I shouldn't say sue you. They sue the office or the dentist, whatever, that they have advanced bone loss. Now, who's right in this case? Is it the patient or is it the dentist or the hygienist? Who would win this case? So I'm actually not going to answer. I'm going to let you guys comment below and let me know what you think. So this will be fun. So tell me what you think. So I'll just recap that a little bit. So you have known your patient for many, many years. 
they have now decided that they don't want any x-rays taken at all. They signed something on paper saying no to x-rays. So all it says on the paper is, I decline x-rays from now on. Um, the date is, what's the date today? October the 13th. And they sign that. And then they come back a couple years later and sue you because they now realize that they have advanced bone loss, but they didn't know. And they're mad at you because you didn't help them or tell them that they have advanced bone loss. Who wins in this case? Is it the dentist, the, the office, the hygienist, or is it the patient? Do they have a case? Yes or no? Let me know in the comments and then I will answer that for you all, okay? So let me know what you think. And if you would like to hear more, um, we are having our next ethics and law session in two weeks. So if you are a member of Dental L, you are welcome. So let me know. Um, if you would like to come in, you can see all of the info on the website at dentalL.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to hit subscribe because I do upload the videos often. And thank you guys for watching and answer in the comments below. I would love to hear what everybody thinks. And have a good weekend and I will talk to you all very, very soon.